Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome. If you're tuning in via Instagram, welcome. If you're tuning in via YouTube, welcome. So, um, I tried to upload videos earlier this week. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure we're in retrograde because I'm stammering and stuttering and all of that stuff. Um, anyhow, my internet was down for a couple of days, so I couldn't upload anything. Uh, and it just got fixed yesterday. Um, so hence, I am able to upload today's Daily Vibration. If you are new to the channel, welcome. You know that um, I did go live. My dad transitioned about two and a half, almost three weeks ago. This is why you have really seen me um, posting. So I am back and I'm trying to get my schedule going again. Okay, so the Daily Vibrations are going to be timeless vibrations. So it doesn't really matter when you click on this video. If the message resonates, you want to go ahead and you want to take what you need and leave what you do not. All right. Now, um, these vibrations have changed over, um, you know, the course of the year and a half that I've been doing uh, videos. Now, I'm coming back to basics, which really means that I'm going back to basics of teaching you exactly how you can master this energy. OK, now. Let me just say I'm a certified Reiki energy healer, so I do deal with a lot of chakra energy in the cards. So you're going to hear me talk a lot about that. So right now, the sun is in Libra still. I believe we're transitioning over into Scorpio season on the 23rd. So we're going from being able to relate, bringing things into balance, um, stepping over into Scorpio season. Wonderful shout out to my Scorpio, Scorpio in the house. Um, which brings in transformation, right? So now... The moon is currently in Capricorn, okay, if I'm not mistaken. When I went to do um, a check before I did the video, the moon is in Capricorn, and I believe the moon um, is going to enter Sagittarius as we enter Scorpio. So that's going to be a nice little mix there, very perceptive energy upon intuitive energy, right? Um, now, with that being said, with the moon being in Capricorn, there's a few things that you need to pay attention today as you are moving throughout this energy, okay? Now, energetically in the collective, everyone experiencing the same type of energy. So you want to be mindful um, to pay attention to your shadow side today, okay? Because the moon being in Capricorn is really a detriment, right? Um, it's not an exaltation, right? Uh, so you want to pay attention to your shadow, shadow side today. Um, there's definitely very, um, heavy, constructive, there's very heavy, constructive energy in the atmosphere, my loves. Um, so you want to be mindful of that constructive as well as conservative energy in the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, so you want to be mindful of that. Hey, give me five minutes. I'll call you back. I'm recording. Okay. All right. So you want to be mindful of that. Okay. Because that conservative energy, especially with that, um, with that energy of needing to be mindful of your ego as well as that Libra energy, which is asking you to bring things into balance with the shadow of Scorpio coming in, which is about transformation. A lot of people in this energy could be popping off and with Mercury being in retrograde, communication is all fucked up. Anyway, this is not really a good mix for emotional people today. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So there's conservative energy in the atmosphere today. Strong, ambitious energy is in the atmosphere today as well, which means that you're going to have to really watch your ego today, okay? Um, because there's also competition in the atmosphere today. Self-centered energy is in the atmosphere today, so you can see a lot of narcissists. The narcissists are out. The energy vampires, the hazels, and the gargamels are out. Yes, they are. They are all out today, Okay. You could also be dealing with very rigid energy. A lot of people may have crystallized feelings. Like they don't really give a shit about what you have to say or what you feel today. So you want to be mindful about that, okay? You could be interacting with a lot of people that are just not happy people today. All right? So you can say the happy people are going to be out today in real form, okay? Um, now, you can also find that you're not going to find... The happy people, once again, being very sympathetic to your feelings or your emotions. Strong parental influences is also operating on the moon energy with it being in Capricorn. Which means that if you're a parent and you need to get something across to your children, today might be a good day to do that. Or if you are, you know, bringing back into your remembrance of something that your parents taught you. Or even if you're working on shadow energy and you're having to deal with, you know, childhood issues of um, maybe some toxic and this, some dysfunctional um, childhood parental issues, you also have an opportunity to work on that today, okay? Um, your need to bring your fears 
okay, to the forefront today to understand them. So anything that pops up that you feel afraid about today, you really need to bring it to the forefront so you can understand it. Today's not the day to suppress your shit. It's just not. You want to deal with the things as they are coming towards you today, okay? We are definitely leaving Libra season and we're entering to Scorpio season. So we're all about transformation, all right? So now let's jump into this, all right? Now, I want to say this, okay? Um, we are thanking our angels, we're thanking our guys, we're thanking our ancestors, we're thanking the higher power within us, we are thanking divine masculine and feminine energy. We are thanking all of the wonderful energies and entities that is here to help guide, protect, encourage, motivate, give us the strength, the courage, and the boldness to take action when it's time. We are thankful that all things is clear. Give us the wisdom as we move throughout this day with a timeless, timeless message for all the elements, okay? All right, now, if you watch my channel, you know Know that I tell you guys that you are responsible for mastering all 12 aspects of the zodiac sign. All 12 aspects of the zodiac signs, all 12 aspects of your psyche, okay? We're going to start off with the four elements, all right? Now, within the four elements, we have three signs within each element. And even if you are not one of the particular zodiac sign, you can still relate to the element and master that element within self. I am going to break down to you what the elements mean when we are doing the tyro bleeding, okay? So um, let's start off with the wonderful, wonderful air sign because today is the last day of um, Libra. Okay, so air signs is going to be Libra, it's going to be Aquarius, and it's also going to be Gemini. If you are not a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini, my love, you definitely want to go ahead and be mindful, okay, to apply this to your thinking. Your mental and your spiritual thinking is how you're going to apply this, okay? Divine wisdom is popping up for you guys today, which means that you're going to have to watch what you say before you say it you're gonna have to watch how you move before you move okay this is what we consider to be your soul star chakra so this would be the chakra right above your crown chakra we're talking about the cosmos with we're, we're talking about the, the etheric realm okay we're talking about pure connection with source we're talking about that umbilical cord that's connected to the heavens or the ethers or the realm of um i want to say in, infinite source However you call it, God, Allah, Buddha, like really, the words that we label this source can't even compute to what this source really is. I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? So you want to utilize divine wisdom today, okay? Um, restore and replenish, which means that you want to pick and choose your battles today. It's going to be important, okay? Especially when it comes to your mental and your spiritual thinking. If it does not serve a purpose... And you cannot pick it up and change it today, my wonderful, wonder, wonderful ear signs. It's not a day to worry about it. And the trust is also popping out today. Use divine wisdom today. It's about restoring and replenishing and trusting yourself today, my wonderful ear signs. Okay? Now, I want to say for some of you, this is going to mean stepping out of your comfort zone. Okay? And I know that that may not be easy for all of you, but it is going to require you stepping out of your comfort zone. Okay? Yep, you're going through a rebirth. This is the earth chakra. This is right below your feet, okay? And this chakra is what, what grounds you and connects you to this physical realm. You also have Mother Earth popping up. You got a lot of earth chakra. Ground yourself today. Meditation, silence, maybe not talking so much, maybe not complaining so much, maybe resting in a place of gratitude today before you respond. Remember, I just broke down collectively where we are. The moon energy governs emotions. The moon energy governs how things ebb and flow in this realm as far as um, the collective and feelings are concerned, right? So you need to be aware of that. The moon governs your emotions. And collectively right now, just collectively, people are going to have to watch their ego and you're going to have to be mindful um, today, okay? Uh, as we're moving through all of this energy, you need to be mindful that other people may not really care about you today, so you're going to have to do that, okay? Care about yourself today, my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ear signs, okay? So now let's jump into the water energy, okay? Um... Water energy is going to be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. If you are not a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces, my love, you know what you need to do. You are going to have to tap into your feelings, your emotions. This is where this energy lies, okay? Your feelings and your emotions is where the energy lies, all right? Now, inspiration is popping out for you today. This is what we consider to be Sakul Chakra. Sakul Chakra is responsible for relationships. A change that needs to happen within those relationships, okay? 
um, as well as karmic patterns, okay? So this is cause and effect. So why do you keep doing the things that you do in relationships, okay? This is also where you build um, trust and security with people, okay? So you want to be mindful of that as you're moving throughout your day-to-day is calling for you to be inspired and ground yourself in that inspiration, okay? So if you're going through a breakup, you don't want to maybe listen to heartbreak songs today. You want to ground yourself in maybe love songs, something that uplifts you, right? Remember, just collectively where we are today and the emotional aspect of the world, right? We're in Capricorn, right? So you don't have to watch your shadow side today, right? Um, there's very, very, um, I want to say, um, um, important, important energy in the atmosphere that may be asking you to definitely pay attention to your fears, okay? Um, that's going to be important, all right? Yeah. Um, your message also is go beyond the normal, okay? Mm -hmm. Ground yourself today. I'm hearing also think outside the box emotionally, right? You want to think outside the box emotionally. Have a new perspective and how you're seeing things. Mm. And how you going to do that? How you going to have a new perspective, my wonderful water signs or water elements? Softly, softly with a tender touch, which means you don't have to be so forceful, all right? I really want to say before you move, before you act today, you just really want to take a deep breath in and out maybe a couple of times and just ask, what should I do? How should I move? Um, and then once you feel that settleness within, then you proceed. I really feel like you may not want to do, yep, look at this bottom of the deck. You do have soul healing popping up, right? That's the um, the soul star card. This is the chakra right above your crown chakra. That's divine um, connection coming in. So a lot of um, energy popping up for my water signs today. If you're tapping into your intuition and you're tapping into your feelings today, you want to ground yourself uh, emotionally. You want to ground yourself, okay? You also want to ground yourself spiritually today and go beyond your normal. Think outside of the box. Do something different. Don't be so rigid, you know? Touch softly, gently. Move gently today, okay? All right. Um, now let's tap into the wonderful, wonderful fire element. Okay. If you are Leo, if you are Sagittarius, or if you are an Aries, this message is going to apply to you. If you are not a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, the, um, the fire element has to do with intuition. It has to do with taking action. It has to do with movement. Okay. It also has to do with, um, could be passion or could be lust. It just depends on where you fall in all of this. Right. Okay. Uh, so what you need to be mindful of today is um, you're going through a, a, a phase, and I'm actually doing a live on this, where we're going to be talking about creating within darkness or dark matter and how to create within darkness, right? Um, the perfection of life, right, for you today is going to have to go beyond the norm. You're going to have to step out of your box today, my wonderful fire sign. So if you've been doing something over and over the same way, you may have to try that thing different today, okay? Step outside of your normal today to create the perfection of life that you want. Perfection of life does not dwell within anybody else, but it dwells within you. So if you're looking for somebody to give you the happiness, if you're looking for somebody to grant you permission, how about you give yourself happiness and you grant yourself permission to do and to be who you are, right? You have the throat chakra popping up with the truth today, the truth truth means that you're going to have to either stand in your truth, speak the truth, or receive the truth from somebody today, right? Now, throat chakra is very important because throat chakra is where your life purpose resides, right? Throat chakra is where you have the power of casting, right? Spelling, your spells, your words, okay? Your vibration, your sound, right? So today, throat chakra energy is popping out for you. You're going to have to pay attention to that. Speak your truth, stand in your truth today, okay? Operate with integrity today, okay? And this may be focused or geared around family today, so you want to be mindful of that. We do have root chakra energy popping up. Root chakra is what's grounding you, honey. What's on your mind? That's how you trust, okay? That's where you get grounded in money, okay? Whether or not you think money is evil or kind, if it works for you, if it don't, right? So, all right, so you're going to have to deal with the truth today, especially when it comes to family, because these areas of the life, is what's grounding you, okay? Perfection of life means today you're going to have to see beyond the norm. Do things differently. Go and beyond what you may normally do. If you normally pop off with the mouth, maybe today don't pop off. If you normally don't pop off with the mouth, maybe today's your day to say something, okay? Be mindful though, okay? Mercury is in retrograde, if I'm not mistaken, which means that there's already, right, lack of communication in the ear. So you're going to have to be mindful about that. Sometimes it's not what you say, honey, but it's how you say it, okay? Be mindful of that. Okay, so now we are going to 
end it with the wonderful earth signs last but not least okay so if you are a capricorn if you are a tortoise or if you are a wonderful wonderful virgo this message may apply to you if you are not a capricorn Taurus, or virgo this message is going to apply to the physical realm your car the house the bill the kids the husband the parents the grandkids okay that's what this message is going to fit today all right all right what is already with you is your question for the day, right? And it's asking you to bring it into form. Mm. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. You know, it's interesting because I teach about the heart chakra being the one true compass or your one true brain, right? The one true part of you that trumps everything else. So if you imagine the thing, if you speak a thing, right? If you envision a thing, but you don't feel that thing in your heart chakra, honey, you can't, you can't experience that thing, right? Now, with that being said, it's asking you today, what is already with you? Are you embracing you? Okay. What is, you know... I got to tell y'all, right, one of the parables that's been popping up for me is coming from the Bible lately, and it's been asking me to, um, how many ore bottles, or what do I have in my storehouse? Like, what do I have? What gifts? What talents? What can I utilize, right? Um, how can I use that to empower other people? How can I use that to empower myself? How can I use that to um, expand my business, right? Now, it's asking you, as you tap into what you already have and you bring it into form and you understand that beyond the mind, the heart attracts everything, you need to stand in a place of peace and understand that you are constant. You are constant. There's no space and time where you do not exist, honey. There's no space and time where you are not connected to the all. You need to remember that, okay? Personal power is what you're going to gain if you tap into this energy today, okay? Now, let me just let you know right now, okay? This is... The solar plexus card. Solar plexus is responsible for your confidence. It's responsible for your ego. It's responsible for your will, right? So personal power is going to be key for you today. Some of you may have to step into your self-confidence, okay, and, and take your power back. And you want to do so first by stepping into your own inner peace. Step into your center. Step into your peace so you can gain wholeness today, all right? So question once again is, what do you already have? And then you bring that into form. Okay, beyond the mind, the heart beats. So you want to trust your heart and follow your heart. And that is the message today, guys. Okay, now the moon meditations will be back next month. Okay, I am going to be starting also um, the trusting your intuition class and communicating with the spiritual realms, your angel, your ancestors, and your guide. That's also going to be popping off next month. Um, and what else am I missing? I'm also going to be doing a lot of different classes. So you guys want to definitely make sure that you're checking out the description box on YouTube. Um, and what else? I've been gone for almost three weeks. So I feel like just stay tuned and y'all going to hear the rest as they come. Okay. Um, monthlies for YouTube will not be going up until November. I do apologize that I had to skip a month. Um, and um, however, if you're on Patreon, um, I've uploaded um, the water signs and you guys will also be receiving um, the earth signs today okay i had already done the ear as well as the um the fire okay all right peace love and light to each and every one of you remember out of darkness comes enlightenment so you need to check out my live right for dark matter aka dark, um dark matter creating you know within darkness it's gonna be good all right y'all i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow in tomorrow's daily vibration